This is the 100% of our Australian wool, 17.5 micron. Ever wondered how wool gets from fluffy sheep to cozy sweaters? Let's take a peek into the fascinating world of shearing sheds, where a skilled team transforms sheep's fleece into the soft, warm material we love to wear. Join us as we look into how Australian farmers produce thousands of tons of wool each year. 80% of the wools are from Australia. They buy our wool, they, they pay for it, and they process in a very, very good manner. Australia, a land of vast outback plains and shimmering coastlines, is also a global powerhouse when it comes to wool production. Each year, millions of sheep roam its diverse landscapes, their fleeces contributing a significant chunk of the world's finest wool. But this impressive output isn't just a matter of sheer numbers. It's a testament to the unique partnership between carefully chosen sheep breeds and skilled Australian farmers. At the heart of this story lies the Merino sheep, a breed renowned for its luxurious wool. These graceful animals, with their distinctive wrinkled faces and inquisitive eyes, were originally brought to Australia from Spain in the late 18th century. They quickly adapted to the country's varied climate and thrived, becoming the backbone of the nation's wool industry. For decades, Australia's wool industry has searched for cost-effective ways of removing wool from sheep What makes the Merino so special? It all boils down to its fleece. Unlike most sheep whose wool is coarse and itchy, the Merino boasts a coat of fine, soft fibers. These fibers are incredibly thin, measuring about 17, 23 microns, compared to a human hair, which is roughly 80 microns. This fineness gives Merino wool its prized characteristics. Merino wool is like a gentle cloud embracing your skin, offering an unbelievably soft experience. Used in top-notch sweaters, cozy blankets, and even baby clothes, it's renowned for its luxurious feel. Moreover, this remarkable material is warm yet breathable, creating a perfect balance for year-round wear. It has a unique ability to trap heat, ensuring coziness during chilly winters, while still allowing air circulation for a cool sensation in the heat of summer. What adds to the appeal of merino wool is its natural resistance to odors. The structure of its fibers prevents the buildup of bacteria, ensuring that you stay fresh and comfortable even after extended periods of wear. This makes it a practical choice for those who value both comfort and hygiene. Beyond its softness and odor resistance, merino wool surprises with its durability and longevity. Despite its gentle feel, it's remarkably strong and resilient. With proper care, your cherished merino garments can endure for years, making it a wise investment for a long-lasting wardrobe. Australia boasts a diverse array of sheep breeds, each contributing uniquely to the wool industry. Among them, the pole dorset stands out for its high fleece yield and resilience against fly strike a prevalent pest in the region. Farmers often choose to crossbreed pole dorsets with merinos to enhance wool production. Another noteworthy breed is the border leaster, known for its long wool, which may be coarser, but possesses remarkable strength and sheen. This type of fleece finds its perfect application in crafting carpets and upholstery, where durability and luster are essential. Suffolk sheep also play a crucial role in Australia's agricultural landscape. These robust creatures are celebrated for their superior meat quality, making them a preferred choice for farmers engaged in dual-purpose farming, rearing sheep for both wool and meat production. Beyond the merino, these diverse breeds collectively contribute to the robustness of the Australian wool show. Each breed's unique qualities cater to specific needs within the industry, fostering a balanced and sustainable approach to sheep farming. The pole dorset, with its resistance to fly strike and impressive fleece yield, seamlessly integrates into the wool production landscape. Meanwhile, Border Leicester's long wool, though coarser, shines in applications like carpets and upholstery, adding strength and luster to these products. Suffolk sheep, with their hardiness and superior meat quality, round out the equation, 
offering a dual-purpose solution for farmers looking to diversify their outputs. Australian farmers play a crucial role in producing high-quality wool by carefully selecting and breeding sheep. They consider various factors to ensure the well-being of the sheep and the optimal wool production. In different regions, specific sheep breeds thrive due to varying climates and environments. For instance, merinos excel in drier areas, while border Leicesters are better suited to wetter climates. Farmers also pay close attention to the characteristics of the fleece produced by the sheep. They choose breeds based on desired wool qualities such as fineness, length, and strength. This meticulous selection process contributes to the overall quality of the wool. Moreover, disease resistance is a key consideration for farmers in harsh environments. Choosing breeds that are resistant to common sheep diseases ensures the health and longevity of the flock. By harmoniously matching sheep breeds to the specific features of the land and their unique needs, Australian farmers have created a successful formula for impressive wool production. This careful selection and breeding process, considering climate, fleece characteristics and disease resistance, collectively contributes to the thriving wool industry we witness today. On Australian farms, the question arises, how do farmers make it all work? Discover the secrets of wool production as we delve into farming practices tailored for these fluffy wonders. From grazing techniques to modern technology, how do these practices create the perfect environment for woolly success? Australian sheep don't just magically sprout luxurious fleeces. Behind those tons of wool lie generations of skilled farmers and innovative practices that nurture sheep and the land in perfect harmony. Imagine millions of sheep gracefully swaying across vast meadows, munching on nutritious grasses. That's the heart of Australian sheep farming, rotational grazing. Unlike confining sheep to one paddock, farmers strategically move them through several sections, allowing each area to recover before returning. This not only prevents overgrazing and soil erosion, but also diversifies the sheep's diet, ensuring they get the nutrients they need for healthy wool production. Though the scene might seem idyllic, Australian farming embraces technology to optimize wool production. Satellite imagery monitors pasture health, identifying areas that need attention. GPS-enabled fencing creates virtual paddocks, allowing farmers to remotely manage grazing patterns. Even drones are taking flight, herding sheep, and assessing pasture quality from above. This tech-savvy approach ensures efficient land management and minimal stress for the sheep. Water is precious in the Australian outback, and sheep farmers are masters of conservation. Rainwater harvesting systems collect every drop, storing it in tanks or underground aquifers for times of drought. Efficient watering systems minimize waste by delivering water directly to the sheep through troughs or even automated sprinklers. These practices not only sustain the sheep but also protect the fragile ecosystem. Australian wool production goes beyond just shearing sheep. Farmers are increasingly adopting regenerative agriculture practices that improve soil health and biodiversity. Techniques like planting cover crops, composting, and minimizing tillage all contribute to a healthier ecosystem, creating a virtuous cycle that benefits both sheep and the land. In addition, the well-being of sheep is paramount to Australian farmers. Regular health checks and vaccinations keep the flocks healthy. Shade shelters protect them from the harsh sun, and access to clean water is a constant priority. <coughs> Humane shearing practices ensure minimal stress for the sheep, and many farms are certified by independent animal welfare organizations. Even the age-old tradition of shearing has gotten a tech makeover. Shearing sheds are often equipped with advanced equipment, including automatic feeders and wool handling systems. 
Skilled shearers, often trained at specialist schools, use modern blades and techniques to ensure a quick and efficient shearing process. The result? Perfectly shorn sheep and bales of pristine wool ready for the next leg of their journey. The shorn wool isn't just tossed in a pile. It's meticulously sorted and graded based on its fineness, length, and strength. This ensures the wool reaches the right manufacturers, destined for everything from cozy sweaters to high-performance sportswear. Sustainability continues even after shearing, with wool waste often recycled into insulation materials or fertilizers. The success of Australian wool production lies in a unique blend of tradition and innovation. From the vast outback plains to the high-tech shearing sheds, every step is carefully orchestrated to ensure the highest quality wool while respecting the land and the well-being of the sheep. This dedication to sustainable practices and animal welfare not only ensures the future of Australian wool, but also sets a benchmark for ethical and responsible farming across the globe. Imagine the precision required to shear a sheep. How and when is this delicate process done? And how does it impact the wool we get? Let's find out. Once a year, the sun-baked Australian plains witness a flurry of activity unlike any other. It's shearing time, a crucial stage in the journey of wool from sheep to sweater. This is where the story of fleeces to fabric truly begins, and it's a tale woven with skill, precision, and respect for the gentle creatures at its heart. Sheep shearing, at its core, is the art of removing their fleece in a single, swift motion. It's not just about speed, it's about ensuring the sheep's comfort and maximizing the quality of the wool. Typically, sheep are shorn once a year in the spring or summer months, when the weather warms and their fleeces have grown thick. The stage for this grand uncloaking is the shearing shed. Imagine a bustling hub filled with the rhythmic whir of shearing machines, the shouts of experienced shearers, and the excited bleeding of sheep awaiting their turn. Each shed is a well-oiled machine with a team working in perfect harmony. Firstly, there are the rouseabouts, quick and agile helpers responsible for bringing the sheep into the shed. They skillfully keep the sheep steady during the shearing process and efficiently remove the freshly shorn fleece. Next in line are the wool classers, individuals with a sharp eye for detail. Their main role involves evaluating the quality of the fleece as it is removed, categorizing it based on various factors for further processing. Then there are the shearers, true masters of their craft. Armed with hand pieces that seem like natural extensions of their arms, these experts maneuver around the sheep's body with practiced ease. Their precision is evident as they skillfully clip the fleece close to the skin, ensuring a clean shearing without any nicks or tears. The shearing itself is a mesmerizing ballet of movement and precision. The shearer, using their years of experience and keen intuition, feels the contours of the sheep's body, gliding the handpiece across the fleece in smooth, flowing strokes. Each stroke removes a layer of wool, leaving a clean, even surface. Shearing isn't just about strength and speed. It's a delicate dance of touch and awareness. A skilled shearer knows the sheep's anatomy inside out, avoiding sensitive areas and ensuring minimal stress for the animal. It's a skill honed through years of practice, passed down from generation to generation, a testament to the deep respect Australian farmers have for their animals. The shearing process plays a crucial role in determining the quality of the final wool product. A good shearer minimizes second cuts, recutting the wool which weakens the fibers. 
preserves the natural length of the fleece, and keeps the wool clean and free of contaminants. This meticulous attention to detail ensures that the wool retains its natural softness, strength, and luster, ultimately leading to finer fabrics and happier customers. The shearing shed is just the first step in the wool's journey. The shorn fleeces are meticulously sorted, cleaned, and processed, eventually finding their way into mills and factories where they are transformed into the warm sweaters, cozy blankets, and stylish garments we all know and love. Our woolly adventure continues as we follow the journey of wool from farm to market. Ever wondered how raw wool transforms into cozy sweaters and soft blankets? Get ready to explore the fascinating world of wool processing, from cleaning and carding to spinning and dyeing. How does this transformation happen, turning raw wool into the products we love? Once harvested from the sheep's back, the magnificent journey of wool begins. From farm to market, it undergoes a series of intricate processes that transform this humble fleece into cozy sweaters, vibrant carpets, and even the crisp suits we cherish. Let's look at how this happens. The first step starts with scouring, the fancy name for giving the wool a thorough bath. Imagine hundreds of fluffy clouds swirling in a giant washing machine. Hot water, gentle detergents, and sometimes even lanolin-rich suds, a natural oil from the sheep's coat, dance together whisking away dirt, dust, and leftover burrs. This first step ensures pure, gleaming fibers ready for the next stage. Next, we have the carding and combing process. Now, picture giant metal brushes gently teasing the clean wool fibers. This is carding, where tangled locks are combed apart, straightened, and aligned. Tiny impurities like seeds and twigs are also plucked out, leaving behind a smooth, even layer of wool. Think of it as transforming a messy haystack into a neat, silky ribbon. But the journey diverges here. For finer and longer wools like those from our beloved Merinos, an extra step awaits, combing. Just like combing your own hair, this process removes shorter fibers leaving behind only the long, smooth strands. These become the worsted yarns known for their sleekness and drape, often used in high-end suits and dresses. Shorter or coarser wools, meanwhile, skip the combing and head straight to carding. The resulting woolen yarns are thicker and fluffier, perfect for creating warm jumpers, cozy blankets, and durable carpets. Next, we move to the spinning process. The combed or carded wool fibers are drawn out, twisted together, and stretched into thin, continuous strands called yarn. These yarns come in varying thicknesses and textures, depending on the type of wool and the desired final product. Think of a rope maker crafting different thicknesses of rope for various tasks. Fine worsted yarns become smooth threads for delicate fabrics, while thicker woolen yarns create sturdy ropes for carpets and blankets. Now comes the splash of color. Just like an artist adding hues to a canvas, skilled dyers introduce the wool to vibrant baths. Dyes made from natural or synthetic sources infuse the fibers with a rainbow of possibilities. Imagine fluffy clouds dipping into a vat of sunshine, yellow or emerald green, emerging transformed. Some wool is dyed before spinning, creating pre-colored yarns for patterned fabrics. Others are dyed in their final form, giving finished garments a uniform or textured look. The dyer's artistry plays a crucial role in breathing life and personality into the once plain wool. Finally, the yarn takes center stage. Picture two sets of threads, the warp, running lengthwise, and the weft, woven across, interlacing. This is weaving, the ancient art of transforming yarn into fabrics. Skilled weavers create intricate patterns, dense tapestries, and delicate silks, all from the carefully spun wool. Alternatively, nimble needles can take the spotlight in knitting.
Loops of yarn are cast on and stitched together, row by row, to create cozy sweaters, scarves, and hats. Knitting offers endless possibilities for personalized projects, allowing crafters to express their creativity through stitch and texture. And voila! From humble fleece to luxurious fabric, the journey of wool culminates in a myriad of products that warm our bodies, adorn our homes, and express our individual styles. Every sweater, carpet, or pair of socks whispers a story of transformation, a testament to the skill of farmers, processors, and artisans who bring the magic of wool to life. We've explored the farms and witnessed the shearing magic. But how does all this wool contribute to Australia's bigger picture? The delicate strands of merino wool may seem far removed from the world of finance, but their impact on the Australian economy is substantial. Wool production isn't just about cozy sweaters and fluffy carpets, it's a powerful engine driving national prosperity, supporting rural communities, and weaving itself into the very fabric of Australian life. Let's dive into the numbers. Australia is the world's largest wool exporter, contributing a whopping 25% of the global greasy wool trade. In 2021 to 2022, the value of Australian wool exports reached a staggering $3.59 billion. Imagine that, billions of dollars flowing into the national coffers, all thanks to these woolly sheep. But the impact extends far beyond the top line figures. The wool industry directly employs around 200,000 people spread across farms, shearing sheds, warehouses, and processing mills. Imagine the livelihood supported the families who depend on this vital industry for their income and well-being. It's a lifeline for many rural communities, injecting much-needed economic activity into regions that might otherwise struggle. Beyond direct employment, the wool industry boasts a powerful multiplier effect. For every dollar earned through raw wool sales, another two to three dollars are generated in related industries like transportation, retail, and manufacturing. This ripple effect spreads wealth throughout the economy, strengthening businesses and supporting a diverse range of jobs. The story doesn't end within Australia's borders. Export markets are the lifeblood of the wool industry. China, Italy and India are major buyers, hungry for the high quality wool that only Australia can provide. This international trade strengthens diplomatic ties, fosters cultural exchange and helps position Australia as a key player in the global textile market. The wool industry also contributes significantly to environmental sustainability. Compared to many other textiles, wool has a relatively low environmental footprint. Sheep naturally fertilize the land, graze in a way that promotes biodiversity, and their wool is biodegradable. Additionally, Australian farmers are increasingly adopting sustainable practices like improved pasture management and renewable energy sources to further minimize their environmental impact. Of course, the economic journey of wool isn't without its challenges. Fluctuations in global demand, volatile wool prices and the rising cost of production can make things tough for farmers. However, the industry is constantly innovating, exploring new markets and diversifying its product range. From high performance sportswear to fire resistant fabrics, the possibilities for wool are endless. Looking ahead, the future of the Australian wool industry is bright. By focusing on technological advancements, ethical production practices and sustainable growth, Australian farmers can ensure their woolly wonders continue to weave a golden thread through the nation's economic and social fabric.